okay so today's topic is uh, a remote file transfer with scp and rsync okay so first of all uh, we'll do with scp later we'll go with R rsync what is meant by scp scp is uh, secure copy so what to do with this scp so you know copy copy uh, copy means nothing but copying files uh, from one location to another location so by using cp command in linux or unix uh, you can copy a file or directory from one location to another location within that system if you want to move or transfer the files or directory from one system to another system that means if you want to move these uh, files uh, remotely remotely means from one system to another system which are in networking then you will use this uh, scp command okay this this uh, utility this command is very much useful uh, when when you want to move you, you want to copy the files across uh, two systems across a network two, two systems which are in a network okay and also it will give security also because it was uh, uh, using ssh ssh plus copy is equal to scp what ssh will do SH will establish a connection between two remote systems. Okay now, and it is an encrypted encrypted one. So encrypted means it will uh, fully secured. So what uh, CP will do? It will copy transfer the files. So totally secure copy. SCP means secure copy. So SCP is a command or in a, uh, utility which uses SSH protocol to transfer the data between two systems to nodes or two servers which are in networking okay so uh, it is just like a cp command so the syntax for a scp is a simple one a scp you know cp command what is cp command cp file source file name and destination file name. that means which file you want to copy and uh, where you want to copy okay in the same way here also but uh, here we are transferring the files or directories between two systems now so so actually we, uh, we suppose let us consider we, uh, we are logged in in one system so in that system we need to transfer a file to another system with certain ip and in, in that uh, system there is some location where you need to copy the file so the syntax for that uh, one is scp space that file name or path of the file name space a remote host ip that means where uh, on which server which server you want to copy the file colon slash the path path where you need to copy the file the destination nothing but okay so simple let us consider in our server in our system there is a file in slash that is file name is file one slash file name on i want to copy this to this uh, server 192.168.10.95 and to the location slash root so the the command is scp slash file name file one and the ip address of that uh, remote host colon and path where you want to copy it okay so suppose if the user is different it is a root user so we are giving that if the user is different different then you will give like yogi at the rate if the username is yogi yogi at the rate this one okay we will see that one now we will practice it i'll show you so this is my first system okay so this system is uh, with a IP address twenty nine. Okay, sorry, it is in SH. I was logged into one twenty nine IP. Okay, here my server is one thirty. This server one thirty, and the second one is uh, it is uh, one twenty nine. Check it. Okay, this one one twenty nine. Now I want to copy a file in this from this location to from from this server to that server, the second server with 192, 190, 129 IP. 
so let's go to some location here i was logged in as a root you know this one root so let us wait so i'm having lot of files here suppose i want to copy this file to to this server the second server that is with 192 ip and somewhere some location mm, suppose uh, cd slash root okay i want to copy here so let us check what are the files here of course the uh, some anconda those i want to copy into this location here the location is slash root only okay how to copy that one across to nodes which are in networking so simple one how to do that one is simple one scp the command is scp secure copy so the location the path of the file location is file 2 it is in slash okay so slash file 2 space to which uh, server we are copying this one this server so this ip okay copy the ip or type the ip okay here oh sorry okay 192.168.61.128 uh, 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 colon slash i'm sorry hmm, colon and that uh, path so path is uh, where you want to copy in in this one slash root i want to copy into this location slash root location so slash root okay like this just uh, press enter strike enter okay file 2 was copied check whether it this file 2 was copied from here to the this server already we have verified there is no file of such in a slash root location let us check it ls look here so file 2 was copied to this server so that is how we can copy securely a file or directory i'll show how to do the directory also uh, to another remote server okay with the desired location okay so okay I am in this server 130 server now. Again, if you observe it here uh, to copy this file securely, it doesn't ask for password because I have configured it is passwordless authentication. That's why it doesn't ask for password. If I if I haven't configured that passwordless uh, authentication for SSP SSH, uh, it will every time it will ask for password. That's why. I have configured this with passwordless authentication so it is not asking password i have configured passwordless authentication for this server ssh okay so it is not asking for password ne ne now do this in reverse that means now i have copied this file to from this uh, server i i am in this server 130 server no this server okay from this server i have copied my this file to to this server next i want to do it reversely that means go to this server okay the same can be reversed so i want to copy that file in this uh, take another file or same file just uh, remove this file this file to here just use the command I'll do. Yes, now check. So there is no file to. So this file to us, I have removed it. Now I want to get this file from this server. How to do that? That you need to do it reverse SCP. That is SCP. So from where you want to copy that file? From this server. From this server. So the server IP is, you must know. The server IP is this one. Okay. Type the server IP. That is 
192.168.61.130 colon slash where the for, uh, file is in which file I, not, I want to copy okay file 2 this file is in file 2 this file is in slash location this location this directory so I need to give the path path okay so path is it, it is in slash slash file 2 so I want to copy this one and where uh, in which location I want to I am in this this server now 129 server this server so to which location I want to copy it uh, slash root or whatever uh, to I want to copy it to slash root okay slash root yes it was done let us verify it look here file 2 it was copied so this is a reverse SCP that means we are copying securely a file which is in this server in this location to our server into this location that is the advantage of SCP okay, I think you got it okay so first one is SCP regular SCP it is straight SCP that is we are copying a file in our server in particular location to another server with that IP into some location using SH and copy secure copy SCP okay the reverse also can be done reverse means uh, in the server we have logged into the server on which we want to copy the files okay so from the server another server we, we want to copy the file it is uh, another server this is the file name we are copying into our server with this location okay this is a reverse SCP that's how we can co copy the files from one server to another server simply using this SCP command so SCP is different from CP SCP is secure copy CP is uh, just copy it, it can uh, see what CP will do is it will just copy the files in in the same machine from one location to another location whereas SCP copies uh, files in one one server to another server which are in networking using SSH utility okay the same uh, will hold suit for directories also we can copy directories from source location from one uh, system to another system which are in networking but here the syntax will slightly di differ so that is we need to use iphone r why we need to use iphone r means r is here r, r is recursively recursively means in directory we, we may have some number of files there now so scp will work for only one file so if you want to apply the same with the same, with all the files in the directory you need to use iphone r the same in cp command also now the same here also okay okay uh, that is scp iphone r so the directory name in our in our uh, system and onto which system you want to copy and onto the location okay let's uh, have a check it okay again i'm in i'm in slash location now let's go to top okay i'm in slash location there are different files and directories here my, now my task is i can't i want to copy a directory here uh, my directory name is test so how i will do is scp if it is a file simple scp it is a directory now that's why i'm using r scp iphone r uh, my test directory path path for my test directory this is in slash now so simply slash test if it is in slash root then you need to give slash root slash test okay and on which ip you need to under which ip which system you need to give is that is uh, 192.168 192.168.168 61.129 and to which location you want to copy it slash 
or if you want to copy into some home home directory just uh, just it is an example okay home or some home and uh, into some directory you, you can do that okay simply press enter okay look here i have used r command now this way every for each and every file in the test directory it was doing a secure copy okay so in test directory we're having all these files if you have doubt check it slash test we're having all these files now file one file xx file h h file uh, s file one and it is in okay so recursively the scp is executing all these things okay let us check whether it was copied securely or not okay so i have copied it to slash home now so check it cd slash home so ls look here test directory is there check whether all the contents are there or not i can go to test ls okay every file is there now okay that's how we can copy directories from one server to another server using scp okay the same the reverse can also be done reverse means from this server i want to copy a directory from this server to this server by logged into this server only 129 server only i mean one previously i have copied securely from this 130 server from this 130 server to this this server 129 server okay now i have uh, securely copied a directory if you want to do it reversely that means uh, i am in this server 129 i want to copy a directory from this server 130 how i i, I will do that one okay it's simple okay uh, already i want to do the same the test directory okay just remove that test directory cd going back I want to remove test directory you know how to remove a directory with contents rm iphone rf test so check it whether it was uh, look it no test directory. previously test directory is there now i have removed it why i removed it i want to copy it again from that location so like, what i need to do is scp iphone it is a directory so I use r and uh, from which uh, system I, I am copying it 192.168.61.130 this system now from this system okay <sighs> from 130 system this one okay so which location it is in that uh, test directory is in slash okay so colon slash test path you know, must give path if the test directory is in slash home slash some yogi directory then you need to give the entire path like a slash home slash yogi slash test space and to which directory you want to copy it so i want to copy it to home now okay so simply give it as home slash home if you want to give it to some other directory you need to give the entire path look here so everything is copied let us check it so it was done okay like that you can use scp to copy files and directories from one remote system to another remote system okay it will use ssh so it is secure scp is secure okay next so there is an another one remote synchronization r sync command is there it is it is uh, very much useful it works in the same way as scp but there is a difference between scp and rsync so rsync is also is used for uh, copying files from one lo one machine to another machine but the difference between scp and uh, rsync is uh, it will just copy the difference between the two files rather than the copying the entire file every time suppose uh, let us consider if if your file is uh, of 1 GB, I have copied it from one remote machine to another remote machine. Uh, later, after one day, that file was updated. Now, the file size is 1.2 GB. Let us consider. Now, I want to copy that file using SCP. So, what SCP will do is, it will again 
copy the entire 1.2 GB from 0 GB to 1.2 GB. So it will take the entire time. So if I use rsync, so what rsync will do is uh, previously I have copied 1 GB. Okay now, so now it was 1.2, it was updated 1. So what uh, rsync will do is it just update. Uh, that means it will copy that uh, updated uh, thing only. It will copy the difference between the two files only. Okay, that's why that's how we can save that time also and speed up the processor also. Okay, so uh, so mainly rsync is used to update the, copy the updated files only rather than copying entire files. I will show you how to do that. Okay. If rsync is command win, yes, of course rsync doesn't, uh, pre, uh, if, if, uh, if you don't use rsync with SSH, uh, it, it was not encrypted. If you use it with SSH, it will give encryption. If you don't use encryption, there is a risk of snipping. Okay, snipping, hijacking your data. Okay, so better to use rsync with uh, SSH. So rsync command, how to use rsync command is rsync iphan rv it is for directory generally directory i will show directory only so you can use that file file also so if you want to use sh you need to use this command iphan e use this option iphan e iphan e means encryption look here encryption and sh type of encryption that is and which directory you want to copy it and uh, which directory you want to copy it now i want to copy the my directory name is test okay suppose to the location into the remote system okay that's how you can do it i will, I will show you that example rsync okay i will do it for only directory you want to do it for file you can do it okay just uh, because it will understand easily for directory only of course file means uh, you will take some time that's why i'm showing it through directory you can do it for file also with proper example now look here look here Previously, what I have done is I have copied a test directory in slash location now. Okay. Now in slash test locate test directory, I'm having these files. Yeah, how many files? One, two, three, four, five, six files are there now. Totally, I want to I want to create two more files. Okay. Uh, some file w okay so uh, one file create just one file okay now there are seven files in it okay file w is also there one more file is there okay if you want to see it clearly okay look here okay there is a symbolic file and the remaining are normal files okay look here previously i have copied uh, into test directory test directory from that uh, location from that machine to he this machine here, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, go to the test uh, for location. So here I'm having six files, but I have updated this directory with one more file. I have created a one more file in this uh, test directory. In this test directory, I have created one more file using touch command. Or I have uh, written some something into the directory. Okay, that new file is file w. Okay, that was not in this one because uh, I have copied just that only previously. Now it was updated. Now, if I use SCP command, again, what it will do is, okay, what it will do is, uh, okay, I, I will show you SCP later. First, I will so, show you sync command, rsync hyphen rv. Why r? Uh, why we used to r option? It is a directory, you need, you need to do it recursively for all the files. I am using r. Why V means uh, ver verbose, uh, it will show the copying of each and every file, okay? Uh, to show you how rsync work, uh, I, I am using that one. You, you can use this V with SAP also, okay? Here I am using encryption SSH. Why using SSH? To give the encryption to, and secure, secure uh, uh, syncing, I am using SSH. If you don't use SSH, uh, the data will transfer in plain text, okay? And uh, from this, which location you want to from which location the directory was covered slash test to which machine it is 192.168.61.129 machine and to which location you are copying it previously it is in slash home now slash home now look it look here okay 
okay what uh, look here what it was doing is it is sending incremental file list only okay test file test w test file x x h w okay okay it is skipping uh, because it is a non regular file because it is a so it, it is checking for whether there is some increment in file one so it will just send that increment only it doesn't send entire file okay in the same way it is sending all the files within less time uh, it is sending it okay so check it whether it was done it of course it will happen so so file w is sent so the same if i done with uh, scp scp look here what scp is doing okay there's something problem with this okay nothing it is a uh, checking SSH. SH. Of course, it is SH. Na? Okay. So look here. What uh, transferred is three six zero eight bytes. Totally, all the bytes it was sending from zero to entire entire file. It it is sending. Whereas if you look here, RCP just it is sending four not two bytes only because uh, it is sending only uh, updated version only. Okay. So if you check that with a file, you will understand it clearly. Okay. So I will show you. Okay. That's about uh, how to copy a file from one one machine to another so machine which are in networking using SCP and RSync. So where this rsync, when rsync is useful is uh, while taking backups, it is where incremental backups there. Are, okay, incremental backups, differential backups are there. Okay, there it is useful. Suppose the, in, in real time, the backups will be like, uh, uh, there are three types of backups, full backup, incremental backup, and uh, differential backup. Full backup means every time taking the whole backup. Okay, so generally that will be done monthly, like that weekly. That means it will take all the file system, entire file system backup. Whereas uh, incremental backup means suppose uh, daily or weekly it will be done. Suppose today, suppose Sunday is uh, taking backup. Tomorrow, uh, Monday, Monday what the backup, how the backup will be taken is it will omit the Sunday's one. What Whatever the updated one in Monday, that will only will take. So yesterday it is the file is of uh, 100 GB. Today it is uh, 1 or 2 GB. Just uh, it will uh, copy that to one, 2 GB only with that 100 GB. That is incremental or differential backup. There is some difference between these two. Okay, so in that case, rsync is very much useful. Okay, so if you use rsync command, then it will only copy that uh, updated one only. Okay, difference difference between the two files only. Previously it is 100 GB, now it is 1 or 2 GB. Just that will copy that updated 2 GB information only. And it will save the time and faster also. Okay, and also, uh, if uh, SCP will work only uh, if if our server sleep time is uh, sometime suppose let us consider it is 20 minutes if you want to transfer a big file if it takes 30 minutes so if you use SCP that will disconnect because uh, after some sleep time that will sleep now server time okay in that case if you use rsync command even though it is sleep rsync what rsync will, be, will do is if it is discontinued again after after uh, uh, getting the connection again it will continue the same it will continue from difference only so there rsync is very much useful okay i think you got it